Hi, this is general exercise number five from the analytical banjo method by Frank Converse. It features the long combination and if you look at the diagram I posted at the Ning site you'll see that long black line that covers three notes and it goes like this. Okay, once again. Oops, messed up that last one. There it is. So what happens is uh, even though you have four notes, I strike down for that combination on that second string, pull off that note, pull up on the thumb on the third string, and then do a pull off with that note. Once again, I strike down on the second and third string, pull off left hand, pull up with the thumb, pull up with the left hand. Then you do that same motion on the first and second string, like this. And there's a strike. I've planted the hand. See that? Pluck with the left hand. Pull up with the thumb. And pull off with the left hand. Nice smooth way to get those four notes. Um, if those were not fingered, most people might tend to do two pull-offs like this. Nothing wrong with that, but this is a different concept to doing that. Okay, some people might even strike all four of those notes separately. That might be okay too. You just need uh, several alternative ways to look at phrases and make your choices on how you'd want to do that. So if you struck every single note, like with a hammer stroke, it might come out like this. You could do it with a thumb. You could do it where you do a pull-off on each of the descending notes to an open string, like this, with a hammer stroke. Or the thumb could strike those notes. But the last way, doing the long combination, is uh, like this. And that's what the long combination is for number five.